Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about something so exciting. I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette. And if you don't know, um, Jaclyn Hill collaborated with Becca to make this champagne pop highlighter I think a year or two ago. And everyone loved it so much that it became permanent. And now she's coming out with a champagne collection type of thing with some Sephora and Becca. There is going to be an eye palette. There's going to be a liquid version of Champagne Pop. I'm really excited about this collection because I love Champagne Pop. It's so good. I'm so excited that she came out with this face palette. This face palette actually has three blushes and two highlights and one of them is Champagne Pop and one of them is a new one called Prosecco Pop. This is what the box looks like that it comes in. It says Jaclyn Hill and on the back it just has um, a little blurb from Jaclyn Hill and her name or her signature under the little blurb. And this is what the beautiful palette looks like. It is pretty big and clunky, so keep that in mind if you're buying it. Um, it's a little heavy, but it feels really high quality and really, really awesome. This is what the packaging looks like. I think it's really, really pretty. It has a bunch of gold and silver specks around her name. You open the palette up. That's the wrong way. You open the palette up, and this is what it looks like. There is three blushes. This is um, Rosé Spritz. Amaretto and Primple Mousse. That is a weird name. But, um, and then this one is Champagne Pop and this one is Prosecco Pop. Prosecco Pop is a little bit more gold. You actually get a giant mirror on the top half of this palette, which I think is awesome. So these three blushes and Prosecco Pop are all new to Becca. Um, I do have this on my face right now. I'm wearing Prosecco Pop as my highlight. Holy crap, it's just as good as Champagne Pop. And I'm wearing the blush um, Amaretto. This one, I thought it was gonna be too dark for a blush. I thought it looked more like a bronzer, but I think it looks so pretty. Without further ado, let's just get on to this kind of little mini review, first impression swatches video. First, I'm gonna swatch the blushes right here. This is, I believe, Rose Spritz, and it's a luminous blush. They came out with a bunch of new ones. Wow, that is so pigmented. It almost has like this duochrome effect. It's got some orange, I guess, specks of, gl not glitter, but just sheen on it. So that is Rose Spritz. And then this one is Amaretto that I'm wearing today. It looks a lot more wearable when you swatch it rather than just looking at it in the pan. And then this third one is called, is that Primple Mousse or something? But that one is a uh, Primple, I, you know what? I gotta read what the heck this says. Pample Mousse, apparently, is what it's called. So these are the three blushes that they came out with. Now, moving on to the highlights part of this section. Um, this is Champagne Pop, Prosecco Pop right here. So Champagne Pop is still the same buttery metallic formula that is in the original Champagne Pop. Let's see, I'm just, I... I'm running out of room. So that swatch right there is Champagne Pop, which already exists. You can get it in a bigger packaging. So this is the original Champagne Pop, and that's it in the package. So it's a little bigger if you buy um, the regular one. That one right there on my hand is Prosecco Pop. It's definitely more of a gold tone rather than being so champagne. I think it's so beautiful. It is, I think, a little bit drier than Champagne Pop is, but I think that it's so pretty. It's probably my favorite gold highlight. So the champagne collection will be on Sephora, I believe, May 26th. If you guys were not able to get the, the palette a couple days ago, it will be for sale the 26th. But I think that the overall quality of this palette is so great. It's $58. This alone is like 30 something just for the highlights. So you get two highlights and three blushes. I absolutely love the way they did this palette. So I just wanted to pop on here and quickly give you my thoughts and kind of go over this product. I hope this video helped you guys out and I am going to be using this like crazy. What's awesome about this palette is it's really good for travel I think because you have three different blush op options. You have two different highlights. If you have the option to go buy it on Sephora, 
Sephora, definitely do. I am myself gonna go buy the eye palette when it comes out, and I'm not exactly sure, but it does say limited edition on this stuff. It said limited edition on Champagne Pop before they made it permanent, so, but I wouldn't count on that um, if you're kind of waiting to see, you know, what people think about it. But I would just go and get it if you are interested in it. Absolutely beautiful. The formulas are exactly the same as the blushes and the original highlighters. So that is all I have to say about this beautiful palette right here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!